Hey there, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode and today we're gonna create a very 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 simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. So if you guys are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please do subscribe. And there is a color that available on my Patreon so don't forget to check out my Patreon link and there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go we're in Photoshop and I already created an artboard and it's 4 by 5 and I already had an image. So let's keep this image right over here and then let's create a new layer go to brush and let's go for a kind of darker color. Just like so or we can fill it with the generative fill but I'll not cover that for now. So let's, let's keep it like that and then let's merge this two images. Press Ctrl and E. Let's convert it into a single image. Now let's select this image. Go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And let's do a basic color adjustment. So I'm going to increase the clarity. Increase the texture. And then also drop down the highlights. And let's go on detail tab. Increase the noise reduction a little bit. Now let's go to color mixture. And from here saturation. Let's drop down the saturation for orange red a little bit and yellow a little bit let's keep it like that maybe let's go on to basic tab let's increase the clarity some more and maybe texture some more here we go and let's click and okay so this is what we got so i already downloaded a few texture images from unsplash.com so let's drag and drop this image right over here press ctrl and t let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right around here so here is another one so i got it from auspass.com too and it has two parts so one is just the black portion and then next one is with the whole uh frame so let's drag and drop this right over here too now let's press ctrl and t let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right around here maybe some let, let's keep it right around here and then let's make a copy of this main player image control j and then let's keep it just right above that black cut out and then right click create clipping max and and then let's make a copy control j and let's move these two parts right around here let me add a little bit of rotation yep let's keep it like that and let's go on these two bottom part press ctrl t let's squeeze a little bit yep just like so here we go and you know what like let's squeeze the bottom one too ctrl t yep just for some variation and let's do some more right around here too here we go and then let's make a one more copy Control j and let's select these two Control t let's move it right around here make it a little smaller and let's keep it just like so all right and then again and let's select this image Control t let's add a little distort right maybe increase the size a little bit let's add a little bit of rotation and then let's do the same thing for this one Control t sync please add a little bit of rotation and let's add some drop shadows so let's go over here add a drop shadow and then oh let's add a drop shadow and then uh opacity let's increase the opacity something like that and here we go let's yeah, change the angle let's keep it like that and then maybe spread let's increase the spread a little bit 
and maybe this stands to some, maybe some more. Here we go. Now let's keep it like that, and again copy this layer style. And then let's paste in this group and let's see how it looks. Yep, I think this looks pretty good. And let's do the same thing for this group. Right click, paste, layer style. So this is what we got. And for this one, let's change the angle. Just like so, maybe distance some more down. Here we go. And let's keep it right around here control t let's make it a little smaller and then let's make a copy control j let's keep it right around here let's make a one more copy control j and let's increase the bottom part a little bit and then let's right click create clipping max and let's merge let's keep them inside a group control g and uh, let's make a one more group control j and uh, let's move these two part maybe right around here and then let's move it all the way to the top here we go and for the drop saddle let's increase let's decrease the distance a little bit yep just like that and let's click on OK. Here we go and just like so. And then let's do some few adjustments. So select this layer, add a hue and saturation. Uh, let's drop down the saturation. Let's click on clip to layer so that this can affect this layer only. And let's drop down the saturation a little bit. Uh, let's do the same thing for this one add a hue and saturation let's click on clip to layer let's drop down the saturation all the way to minus 100 and then let's go on very bottom let's add a solid let's go for a kind of darker color yep something like that and let's click on ok i think this uh, drop shadow looks a little weird so let's fix this one so select this uh group and let's double click on that drop shadow and let's drop down the distance a little bit yep just like that we increase the spread yep let's drop down the opacity here we go and control t let's add a little rotation Here we go. Let's make a one more copy. Control J. Yeah, let's move it all the way to the bottom. And then uh, let's move these two parts. Control T. Let's keep it right around here. And then let's drag and drop this texture. Yeah, I think I'll just keep it like that. I think this is looking pretty good. Uh, and then let's add a color lot on the very top. So let's go over here, click on lookup. And from here, click on load. And now let's select this lot and click on load. And the, if you want to get this lot, please check on the description list below. And this is especially for my Patreon supporter. So select this one and click on load. So here we go. So let's keep on very top. Right around here. And what I like to do is let's select this image, go to filter and let's go to uh, filter gallery and let's add some cutout and let's see how it looks. So select this one and let's uh, in Yeah, let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. So, yep, I think this looks much better. And now let's add a background and let's uh, add some rotation. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. 
let's move all the way to the bottom and then let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go and let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e go to filter let's go to blur let's add a gaussian blur and let's create a layer max go to press and let's go for a black color and let's erase uh, some of these blur effects just like so and let's add a text and yep so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye